hello everybody welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing amazing so it's another one back to give you guys so if you see my face for the, see my face for the very first time my name is blessing you're very much welcome to my channel in this channel i give you educated stuff when it comes to studying in north cyprus all you need to know based on my experience and my knowledge and if you just see me for the first time and you don't know about me i am an agent my husband and i were agents in north cyprus and we currently live in north cyprus so we process students admission all over african countries so whichever your country that you're coming from you're safe just contact me through my email and i'm gonna guide you on everything that you have to do and you're gonna see yourself in north cyprus and also i just want to say that the fall intake is going to be this september slash october because of the pandemic so you still have time to not much time but you still have time to contact me through my email if you want to study here in north cyprus all right guys and i just want to say thank you to all my old subscribers for your support and everything and guess what guys you guys rock you guys are amazing so let's get into the video okay guys so in this video i'll be talking about how does the educational system in north cyprus how does it work how is it the system like overview how is it how does it work things that you should expect so if you don't know i i was a student here in north cyprus i did my undergraduate um so many years ago <laughs> so i was a student here so i have a first-hand information also my husband and the rest of it so i'll be telling you guys how the education system works based on our experience so if that sounds like what you want to hear get your pen and your buyer okay this applies that's why sometimes when i talk i talk about like generally because this some of my points applies to every country i was in philippine asia before i came here so it's the same thing in some specific stuff so point number one that i'll be talking about how educational system works is that or what you should be expecting coming from africa coming from your home country one shocker is it shocker I don't know but just one thing that you should know is the accent so accent to look out for is the accent the intonation the pronunciation of words of the of your lecturers very much important because your lecturers are the ones that will be giving you the lectures they'll be teaching you obviously so their accent is something that you have to look up to okay let me just give you gist i know you guys enjoy my gist Okay, when I went to Philippines, because fr from Nigeria, I went to Asia first, Philippines, before I came here. Um, they have, every country have, even me, I have Nigerian accent, okay? Some people haven't seen you guys. Some people have been seeing, some of you have been seeing that lady that has that Nigerian accent. I used to see you guys in some places. <laughs> you know yourself. Anyway, so, um, my experience in Asia... <laughs> It's funny. And that was that I was pretty pretty very much young, 2011. <laughs> Anyways, so there is this thing that they pronounce. Like I'm not bashing, I'm just saying, even me, I have accent right now, so I'm not bashing. I'm just telling you what you should just expect and get to get familiar with. So um they used to pronounce two. That is T W O two. They pronounce it as two. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laugh. I'm not. I'm just. It's just a gist. You guys can laugh my accent as well because I know I have an accent, Nigerian accent. Yeah, it's obvious. But coming from Nigeria, so when our lecturers will be <laughs> when our lecturers will be teaching and everything, then there's something that will involve two, obviously, maybe math class or anything. And I say two, two. So. The first time that I went, I was like, what is two? I was trying to understand. Is it two? <laughs> yes, that was what I was I was saying that is is she trying to say two? Or oh, I didn't know it was she was talking about two. <sighs> it's when I stayed with them for a couple of um did I even I think I know um when you know Africans now we will just get together sitting around and everything. I think something raised that topic and everything. So we're not like oh and I knew that two, two, two. I don't even have that tick as in the way to do. If I get those people that used to do uh, clips, if I can see a clip, I will just put it. So you see the translation do. So I know that do. 
is two. Okay, so in this kind of situation, it's peculiar to everybody, even those of you that are coming from the Philippines. Now, if you go to Nigeria, you'll be like, What are they saying? Like me, um, what is the deep accent that Nigeria will say that another person will not understand? So, or oh, hell, what I can remember, water, what is water, water. So, you get so it's it's every country i'm not trying to bash anything i'm just telling you what you should expect okay so this <laughs> this was very peculiar to do at the point now and i know that it's two so you need as a student to know that every country even in the uk people that are going from nigeria to uk you you don't understand there is different between uk accent and american accent you get so there is this accent you have to because it's challenging it's challenging when um, a lecturer is teaching and you're you're not you're not listening that is one thing you have to you're not listening to understand what the lecturer is saying you're doing two things at the same time you're listening to understand what the lecturer is saying like giving a lecture and also you're listening for the accent so it's a very difficult first start for everybody going to any country different from your country so look out for this and try to get used to get try to get familiar maybe you watch their movies or something i don't know but try to anything that will make you familiar with their accent in North Cyprus here, just get to get familiar with it because one thing about abroad and everything, the way they talk is different from the way African talk. Abroad, what I know is that their accent is like they are singing. If they want to say something, it's not as if they are singing. <laughs> I beg, don't come for me. I'm just saying, me, I have Nigerian accent. So, but the point is that look out for the accent of your lecturer, the accent try to understand this so if you don't understand the accent you will not understand the lecture so that is one point that you have to prepare your mind i'm preparing your mind because i said my students will be coming from next week so i'm preparing your mind on what you're going to encounter not only your lecturers where you go to buy things like the environment in general try to get used to the system and the environment and all that and if you're coming from africa you understand this very well and precisely if you're coming from nigeria you understand our educational system is hard it's hard you see somebody carrying 21 courses in your head you see somebody doing how many courses um time for exam they will not give you area of concentration though like it is hard nigeria is hard in educational system so I'm trying to look the screen because I see if the lighting is going dark and, and bright at the same time. But anyways, we move. So if you're coming from Nigeria, because I, I don't want to always like generalize it. I'm talking about the place that I know. Okay. Um, this Nigeria that I'm talking about now is the um, federal school or the government school university. I'm talking about. So maybe people from private university will have a different experience. But what really happens in the government university and the private university is hard so but the system here in north cyprus is no hard it's easy so let me tell you like i was trying to give you so let me tell you point number one in terms of why i say the system is easy one your session is broken down so you have a midterm exam before you have a final exam so if the like this midterm like when you guys just come i think november ending you will hit exam so at least you will have an understanding on how the exams are set how they do the things and everything so for your final exam which is going to wrap up the semester you will at least will at least know you will now understand it even more better so um is that easy in that past number one so number two again there is this thing that they do even in asia when i was in asia this, there is this thing that they do that i've never i didn't even know it exists in this world until i traveled abroad is um area of concentration so some lecturers i know there's one of my lecturers is an old man and the previous student before me they told me already when i was a student here they told me so i was ready for the man the man will just come he will tell you that so 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 place and so so place will come out in his exam like literally after he tells you that okay maybe paragraph page one chapter one chapter three chapter four concentrate on that it will come out in the exam he will now proceed maybe two weeks before exam he will now proceed in duping exactly what he's going to bring in the exam to you so this is what i mean is that maybe he's going to bring him um, i got he's going to bring a particular question he will just change the figure if it's five he will put seven 
he will just change the figure but exactly what he's uh, what he's he set on his exam paper that is what he's doing as a revision okay because some weeks before exam we always have something we call revision so he will bring exactly just like me so he will bring exactly everything that he set on the exam that he's going to set on the exam on the exam day that you're going to see he will bring as exactly and then change the figures so there is no way <laughs> i think i have a i have i had a in that exam in that course there is no way that you will not pass this one is not about whether you're brilliant or not because you already saw everything like everything has just been being food to you so you've already seen everything so why won't you pass your exam why won't you do it so this is how easy the system is so some other lecturers it was the only one some other lecturers the most popular popular and everything other lecturers they'll just tell you concentrate on chapter one chapter two chapter three don't bother about the other chapters these chapters are where the, my questions are going to come out from at least you can really focus on something so you see how everything is being made easy on like where i'm coming from there <laughs> you read everything you don't even who oh, is telling you chapter it, whatever so it can be very tricky um you have to just know what you do but in a nutshell in a very like on a general scale is very easy to pass because things are being made structured and very easy so if you really want to pass you'll pass you understand so the next point that i'll be talking about is being familiar with um the system using the laptop and all those things um i know this our generation we are very like we know all those things how to use phone and everything but like that there are specific things that i just want to tell you in that um, educational system that you have to know one like i'm just training this in you should have a laptop safe as you're coming you should have a laptop you get or you come and buy her but or you, you bring your own from your home country it doesn't matter but you should have a laptop as a student and also having a wi-fi at home just like the incident that happened um or let me yes let me just call this incident that happened um in Febu february intake that people that were coming february they never knew that uh, the pandemic is going to hit and everything People were just going to classes normal on a normal day. Then all of a sudden, they just announced, "Ah, this thing has entered North Cyprus, so um, all classes are going to be online." So, if you don't have internet in your house, how will you get your classes online or write your exams and all those things? So, this is just one part of it. You have to get familiar with the airspace and all that. And another thing that I really wanted to say is the presentation. We do lots of presentation here. We do lots of presentation here in North Cyprus, like countries, schools in abroad. They, we do a lot of um, presentation. So if I have like a particular course or something, they will just tell you do a presentation on this particular topic and talk and everything. You come and present. <laughs> the first time I did it, it was very at least in Philippines anyway. The first time I did it, it was very very um, how would I say challenging because I never did this coming from where I'm coming from. So. Ha, the day that you're like you're gonna do this and luckily for me my own was group presentation so the time that i had my own personal presentation i was now strong so imagine you going to stand in front of your classmates like <laughs> doing presentation like practically teaching them the course and everything it was like it wasn't that funny but them here is they're used to it they do it every time they do it in primary school and all that they do it so they're very used to it so just have to be used to presenting in class or doing group presentation group presentation is just like they'll just call they'll mix it they always mix it here both um the white and the black they'll just mix you guys like three or four five people you're in this group you're, you're going to present this course and all those things you don't want to be the person in your group that will not give them low grade you understand so you have to be familiar with all these things and also again using powerpoint presentation uh microsoft all those things you have to know them probably some people the how they always do it in um group presentation somebody might say i'll be the one to bring out the um, research for the, the pointers and everything then the other person will be the one that will type everything the other one that will be the one that will present it you understand all those stuff they will divide the labor so you have to be familiar with all these things so that when it hits you you just you just be fine you will not take it as any you it will not be 
hard as in the first time <laughs> like the way it was <laughs> you have to be used with this presentation you literally stand in front of the class be doing the slide one two three talking about how the whole thing like what you research what your group or the one that is very 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 challenging is where you're just is individual presentation so you're going to be the one that will research for the topic get everything prepare your slides everything then you come and present it so you're going to do it and i know even here in um north cyprus here in north cyprus there was one lecturer that is very used to it he doesn't sometimes he doesn't do exam so he will just give you a topic to present and that will be your exam and that thing happened and to me on my final year my final year i was doing more of presentation than exams so that that one is very taxing because now you you know that you're the one that has your grade in your hand so how well you the pointers are how well your presentation is how well your slide is arranged because they check this thing you know don't think that if your point are super valid they want to see how you designed your interface and everything all those things you know that imagine the situation where you know that whatever i do in this presentation is the grade i will have it's not like you don't know the things so but you have to put in all the works because they are preparing you if you get a professional job outside the country or whatever you can do slides and all those things whatever is the reason but what i'm trying to say that when it comes to personal um, presentation you have to know this because it's not every time you'll be hiding on that group presentation there are some people that will do some lectures that, that will say everybody will do individual presentation so that one you're going to be the one that will search for the topic you're going to be the one that will arrange everything on your slide everything you come and you answer and uh, you present it to the class and there are some the way they do it is that after you present and all those stuff your classmates will ask you questions <laughs> your classmates will ask you questions and i know very well that my final year so many um, lecturers were not even bothered they, 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 they didn't bother I think at that point they were like, okay, we are we are done with this um, exam, exam, exam thing. You've been doing it from year one to now, so they didn't bother doing it. And they were doing presentation, how you can present, how bold you are, how composed you are, how organized are your questions, how straight to the point it is, all those stuff. So you have to be. The point is that you have to get familiar with this, all those things, presentation, Microsoft PowerPoint, all those things that you have to be um, familiar with it and everything very good at it even if you don't know it now when you come at least go to the library you see some people that some people that are willing to help ask them how to do slide and everything they will teach you even your lecturer said you can ask but environment yeah the the, the school that's another point again the school environment and yeah, they are very welcoming to help they, will, they are very very welcoming to help when it comes to academic stuff they will help you just go to the library have a big library there's computers everywhere you just do your thing and all that so but just know that you have to be used to this point so yes yeah, so basically these are just a few um overview of view structure on how university here in north cyprus work you just need to understand the accent um, I'm trying to figure out the because now I'm used to I've stayed here for the longest time so I'm not used to the accent I don't know the points that the particular one that will say out like which one is the accent that I'm trying to remember because their own is more on their language is their language that really uh, cracks me up in terms of like let me tell you one, one and I'm trying to upload that video well for <laughs> some time do you know what they call fan in their um, Turkish language if you know Comment down below if I say it. <laughs> it's a cracky of <laughs> okay because most of them are the school in UK, so they don't really have they have no Cyprus accent. But I mean, like your lecturers, they will be more UK and everything. So you're gonna meet the accent challenge, but it's not be that intense because most lecturers are always you have flying lecturers lecturing in Turkey and all that thing. So yes, yeah, so have you commented down? Tell me what they call a. Uh, fun in North Cyprus, Turkish language. Let me tell you. <laughs> One three <tall. laughs> The day I went to go and buy fun, as in that vlog, I'm trying to edit it. The day I went to go, I was like, ask me, is it one three tall? What is one, as in one three, is it one two three? I don't even understand, as in, you see, it couldn't sink very well in my head. So, you got, you have to look out for all those stuff and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and 
tell me what you think is um, helpful to you any comment that you have any concern that you have put it in the comment section because it will help other people if i answer thank you guys for watching and if you want to study here in north cyprus contact me through my email that you're seeing right on the screen contact me and i'm gonna talk to you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs> one three <three-tour. laughs>